months, I tried out on a whim for Sports Illustrated Swimsuits um, competition. Uh, this sort of like revived that like secret childhood dream I had always had of becoming a model. I first tried out for their 2018 competition, which is technically for their 2019 magazine. I went there just with the mindset that, hey, I'm just gonna give it a go. I told a friend um, a few months prior to me seeing the flyer for the open call, I was like, hey, I've never said this to anyone, but I actually would love to become a Sports Illustrated model someday, but I have no idea how that would even be possible for me given the fact that I'm not a model at all. Um, and then next thing you know, I saw the flyer, tried out, I be out of, I want to say 3,000 girls, I made it all the way to their sweet 16. So that was like, okay. And then I was like, you know what? I got so close, you know, without much experience. Let me try again. And so the following year, I tried it again and I got into the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> There's never a such thing as you being too old or not tall enough or not have enough experience. Like if the passion shows through your work, what you want will happen. As a, as a black woman, I have natural hair and that is like my pride and joy and that's sort of my brand. I think that there is such a need for inclusivity across all barriers in the industry and that's not just the model per se, it's with the hair artists, it's with the makeup artists, it's with the photographers. You need photographers who know and understand dark skin. So I feel like, I'm, I feel really privileged to be in this opportunity to not only represent dark skinned women in the magazine, but also in the industry too, because I feel like there's so many um, uh, things that we still need in order for black women, visibly black women to feel included and desired. And I don't just want to become a supermodel. I would love to become one. I would die to become one, but I don't just want that to be all that I'm known for. I really want to speak on things and be known for things that are really important to me and I think to others. Um, one of them is mental health. Um, as a teenager, I was depressed and I had uh, suicidal situations and I also lost a friend to suicide and so mental health is really important to me and I think that more than ever especially in the times we're in we really have to make sure that we're putting our mental health first and so that's something I try to share on my social pages anytime I can like you know it's great to look good but it's also about feeling good and you can't do that you can't really you can't look your best if you don't feel your best and you really have to just take moments to yourself because you come first.